We love Sharon's relationship with her children on The Young and the Restless. In real life, Sharon Case initially didn't think about having kids and dreamt of having a successful career. However, after falling in love with her now ex-husband, Sandy Corzine, she changed her mind and desired to start a family with him. Sharon did not want a large family as it would interfere with her love of traveling. Let's get into the video as we look back at her motherhood story. Hey everyone, welcome to Trend Street. Sharon Case explained that her decision to have children was not solely based on her biological clock ticking, but rather the desire to start a family with someone she loves. Sharon's love for her husband and the idea of having a family with him became the driving force behind her decision to become a mother. She believed that having more than one child would be too much for her as she loves to travel. In an interview with Soap Opera Digest, Sharon was asked if the couple decided to delay having a child or did something else caused it, as she was excited about becoming a mother in the beginning. She and her husband had to delay having a child due to unforeseen problems, which caused her grief. Sharon believes that having a baby doesn't fix everything and didn't rely on that belief. It was disappointing, especially as time passed and her desire to have a child grew stronger. Unfortunately, when their marriage ended, it was a double blow for her because not only did she lose her partner, but she also lost the possibility of having a child with him. Even though she was unsure of what the future held, she didn't believe that her dream of becoming a mother was entirely over. Although Sharon doesn't have children in real life, she's a proud pet parent to her dogs. Meanwhile, her character has tried her best to be a devoted mother to her children on Y and R. On screen, Sharon has four children, Cassie, Mariah, Noah, and Faith. Her past of giving up a child for adoption became relevant when her friend, Grace Turner, tracked down the child, Cassie. Cassie went to live with Sharon and Nick and was raised by them. However, Cassie died in a car crash caused by Daniel Romilotti who was under the influence of alcohol, which resulted in the end of Sharon and Nick's marriage. Sharon and Nick named their premature baby boy Noah, who recently returned to Genoa City and was struggling with a breakup. After Cassie died, her ghost visited Sharon and Nick and told them they would have another little girl, Faith. Faith is now a teenager and went through a rebellious phase, but is now doing well and dating Moses Winters. In 2014, Sharon saw a woman who looked like Cassie and thought she was hallucinating. It turned out to be Cassie's twin sister, Mariah, whom Sharon didn't know existed. Sharon and Mariah had a rough start but are now very close and Sharon helped Mariah plan her wedding to Tessa. However, a while back, Sharon thought she had another baby. Sharon married Dylan in 2015, but had a miscarriage and was checked into a mental health facility due to bipolar disorder. There, she was drugged by a doctor who made her believe she gave birth to a baby boy named Sully, whom she took home. The baby turned out to be Nick in Sages, but Sharon gave the baby back after Sage died in a car accident. Which of Sharon's children's storyline did you find most intriguing and interesting? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for checking this video out. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on if you want to hear from us and comment down below if you've subscribed and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can.